Good morning, everybody. Crypto Strang here. Following the exciting news last few days about Cardano and the Vassal Hardfall, September the 22nd. Absolutely fantastic time at the moment with the Cardano ecosystem, or AOHK are doing with Cardano. It's been a lot of hype the last few days. I find it fascinating. We're in a bear market, and they've actually released this hard fault in the middle of a bear market. September throughout the years has always been very harsh with crypto, a lot of drops, etc. And it's also when we get in the Ethereum merge. So two massive competitors sort of releasing this massive news in the same month. So I think it's really exciting. But Cardano is still ranked number seven. Okay, the market is just over 17 billion. I've always stated, ever since I've done literally one of the first videos on YouTube, and I've always believed that one day Cardano will be number one. I know it's a big statement. I do strongly believe that with the team behind it, the technology, the vision to be around for many, many years. So here we are today, it's just 50 cents. I've always said, you know, the last bull market, I was surprised we didn't go massive highs like all the other layer one blockchains all smash through the all-time highs like massively um i think at the moment in this bear market you know we're just up three percent today we're 50, just over 50 cents it's never financial advice as you know but that is a wonderful price in my opinion and especially when we have 76 percent of the supply out there and the majority of them are staked okay you get some wonderful returns I spoke about the staking many many times but the news about the facile upgrade which is the biggest upgrade they've ever done within the Cardano ecosystem. It's much more scalable. Just make Cardano so more appealing and built for to be around for decades. Now, obviously, I follow Charles Foxman on Twitter and YouTube, etc. He done a wonderful video the other day. It's quite brief, only 11 minutes, but some parts of it really stuck out to me. So you've got this little section here. Now, moving forward, there's going to be a big retrospective on how do we do things better. There's also going to be a deep conversation about the overall architecture of Cardano as it is, and how do we take it to the next level to make it more useful and uh, portable, scalable, and better for everybody? Um, a lot of SIPs are coming, uh, some SIPs related to uh, Voltaire and governance, um, some SIPs related to Basho and scalability, uh, and there's a lot of cleanup that needs to be done as we hand it over uh, from one steward role to a members-based organization and then uh, participate with you guys in that capacity. So that's what 2023 is really about. So a lot of people are stepping up, taking more advanced roles. More. So you can just see there the, the vision they've got for next year. I think it's going to be absolutely huge, this project, constantly. And I say the next bull market, who knows where the price will be. I just think it's absolutely a wonderful opportunity here with just at 50 cents. But again, you've got to do your own research, obviously. So obviously I follow them all over social media. I think Charles Hodgson is absolutely fantastic. His vision, the way he deals with stuff, I just think he's an absolute gent. So laid back. For a guy who has so much criticism, yep, yeah, I'll probably be honest that Cardano has taken a long while to get there. It was just such a surprise, sort of last ball market. When you look at Solana, Avalanche, you know, and the dreaded Luna, etc. The way they just pumped so much, where Cardano was sort of steady. We had some great profits, however, you know, we never reached the highs that I was expecting and many other people were expecting. But when you look at this in the Cardano blockchain vassal hard for upgrade, September the 22nd has been an absolutely wonderful time. Will we get a massive pump? Just before or just after, who knows? I think, again, I'm thinking sort of next year for some nice price rises. Well, again, set some price targets and take the profits. But at the moment, I'm actually buying more Cardano at this price. Okay, so again, it's just my personal way of doing it and just take the profits. But also, obviously, I've got a bag of Cardano I'll be holding for many many years and I've always stated before I've actually got a nice wallet for my daughter. So when she, in a few years time when she's 18, that hopefully be a nice nest egg for us. So Vassal is a major upgrade designed to increase Cardano's scaling capabilities and reduce transaction costs. And when you talk about reduced transaction costs, to me, when I've sent Cardano from my dad dollars wallet elsewhere, the fees are so minimal. Even if you send on exchange, you send like a few thousand Cardano, the fee is like one, you know, which you compare that to Ethereum, it's literally chalk and cheese. So I just think it's absolutely, to actually update even further just makes it even more incredible. Okay. States their hard fault is a backward incompatible change to the software used to validate and produce new blocks. The rollout underwent multiple delays, however, which is obviously a state of However, everything is now set for September 27th. It also stated on that video, Charles, that everything is set up. There's no issues at the moment. We shouldn't have literally wake up on September 27th. Everything should be wonderful. No more delays. So it's actually fantastic to see. Now, also, what I like on iohk.zendex is all the information about Vassal. You can get there about the, the purpose of it, 
which talks about the preview, the pre-production, and obviously the main net. And it goes through very advanced technology details about everything they've got. And um, when you scroll also down here, it's all triggering the hard fork. It talks about that. It also talks about here, like the different node versions. But the bit I found absolutely fascinating, again, it talks about all the different testnet stages, was this bit with the top 12 exchanges by liquidity. Liquidity, sorry. So what they're doing is they talk about all the different exchanges, how they're doing with the upgrade. You know, because obviously they are massive, got a lot, a lot of customers with Cardano, especially Binance. And you can see there, as they scroll down, Binance nearly there with the integration status. Upbit in progress, MEXC ready, BitTru ready, Coinbase in progress. A couple they're not started, I've never really used those exchanges to be honest, XT.com, Changely Pro. However, but you scroll down, it also talks about many others here, OKX ready, okay. Crypto.com in progress, Gate.io ready. Okay, so that's really KU Coin, Huobi in progress. So it's great. So by the time it's actually launched, everything will be fine with all the big exchanges. I thought it was really good here. I've never seen that before when you get an upgrade and you're actually relevant to the exchanges and what where we're at with the actual upgrade. So that is really good. You see all the different exchanges. So quite a few haven't started, but I say they're the lesser ones. Obviously, in time, they will. Bitpanda, another favorite one, in progress. Okay, so that's really good to see. So... I think over time, Cardano has continued to grow. In fact, it's still number seven. I've, I've always stated it. Will, obviously, I believe it will climb a lot higher than that. So, for pay yourself for Cardano, as I say, I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen up to September the 22nd. Time will tell. But long term, it's absolutely fantastic. It really will stick above the rest, in my opinion. They've never had any issues like Solana, for example, and many others. That you know, Obviously, Luna was a disaster. But Cardano is built for longevity. It's got decentralization. You've got a great people behind it. The IOHK team, the developers, everyone behind it. Worldwide vision. I think it's wonderful. So let's keep eye on Cardano, as I always do. You know, I just think it's absolutely crazy what's going to happen to this project in the next few years. So thanks very much. As usual, anyone help email me, infocryptostrand.com, or my social media links below. Have a wonderful day. We'll chat again soon. Cheers now. Bye.